Welcome to another episode of Clarky's Cousin Corner. Today, we have a special guest again, Dustin Plass. Dustin, what are we doing? Today we will be making chicken, bacon, broccoli, fettuccine alfredo. That's right. Now, let's get started with the rub on the chicken. So what we're using is just garlic powder, granulated onion powder, salt and pepper. That's it. I like to tap my seasoning on the chicken so it kind of really gets in there. So okay. to the grill. What I like to do is I like to cut it in to little slices. We have the grill set at 380 degrees. We put our chicken on with the seasoning, with the rub. Now we're gonna give it a flip, and let's give it a flip. Now that we have the chicken on the grill, what's our next step? Next, we cook the bacon, the noodles, and then the sauce. Awesome, let's get to the bacon. Bring home the bacon, Mike. Bring home the bacon. Now, let's make the fettuccine. Now that we have the chicken on, we have the pasta going, it's time to steam the broccoli, and then we're gonna get to the sauce. Dustin, let's get the broccoli going. Sounds good to me, Mike. Let's All right. Just dump it right in there. Excellent. Steam up very nice. I like to steam the broccoli instead of um, pan fry it or microwave it because it comes out better that way. I believe. All right, so now we're gonna make the Alfredo sauce. What's what's in the Alfredo sauce? Milk, cheese, butter. It's pretty simple to make an Alfredo. Just a half a stick. Interesting. And Mike, what kind of cheese is this? Parmesan cheese is what you use for an mm. Alfredo. And you wanna use shredded, not granulated. You wanna use shredded. Granulated is gonna make it Grainy. A little bit of pepper, you know. Really? Yep. A little bit of pepper. Bring out the flavor? Uh, no, salt brings out flavor, pepper adds flavor. Ah. Ah, yeah, exactly. But you are going to be mesmerized by this next step, is you add not only the Parmesan, you add the bacon. Remember that bacon that we were making? Oh, I remember the bacon we were making. The making of the bacon? The making of the bacon. <laughs> the making of the bacon. Exactly. You add the bacon in there. You don't want the bacon grease, but you do want the bacon. It doesn't cook for very long. You don't want to bring the sauce to a boil. So it's time to strain the noodles right now. So. <sighs> It's very basic. You just bring the noodles to the strainer, strain them, and you just let them sit there until uh, you, the sauce is done. This meal is going to be delicious it's once we get done with it. And we are cooking again. What is it? Chicken, bacon, broccoli, fettuccine alfredo. That's absolutely correct. And it's going to be the best chicken, bacon, broccoli, fettuccine alfredo that you'll ever make. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper. Yes, he, he certainly did, didn't he? Certainly <laughs> did. He certainly did, Mike. He We're not even did. working with pickles today, no sir. <laughs> nope. Well, pickles are awesome, you know. Pickles are, pickles are very nice. Sometimes on certain sandwiches. I like them on most sandwiches. 
Have you ever had a Cuban with fried pickles? I actually have. Maybe we will make a Cuban. That might be another episode. If you like and subscribe enough, we might make a Cuban sandwich with fried pickles. Mike, how long does it take to steam the vegetables? It only takes about 15 minutes. Look at that. Look at those. Yes. Very delicious. You don't want to steam them too much because they become mushy. Once they become steamed, you shut off the heat and you just let them sit. A lot of people will cook things to their expectations and assume that they're just going to be done right then and you're going to eat them right then and there. But if you cook them a little bit, a little bit underdone, hey honey bunny, a little bit underdone, you know, um, they'll continue cooking. Yeah. And now we have the cheese. And now we have the cheese, yes, that's right. So I can see now that the cheese acts as a, uh, a thickening, a thickening agent. agent. That's right. The cheese does act as a thickening agent. Yeah, so sometimes see. you need to uh, add a little bit of flour to thicken up your sauce. It really is amazing how milk, flour, and cheese can actually come together for so many things. I'm going to put some... Uh, some pepper and salt in there. How much? Just a little bit. Salt and pepper, of course, not to be confused with the band. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Not to be confused with the excellent band, salt and pepper. Now, do you like your Alfredo cheesy or do you not like it cheesy? I love my Alfredo very cheesy. Mike. You love it very cheesy? Very cheesy. Okay, well, cheesy is what we're going to do. The cheesier of the best. The cheesiest of the cheesy. Kind of like your jokes, you know? Wicked cheesy. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm here for, Mike. <laughs> we got heavy cream, we have butter, salt, pepper, bacon. Flour, I believe this to be an amazing Alfredo. Something I really, really like, that is a healthy amount of sauce. This is gonna taste so amazing. Now that we're done with our sauce, our broccoli, our pasta, our bacon, our fettuccine. It's time to eat, isn't it? It was time to eat yesterday. Are you hungry? No, I'm just starving. <laughs> so we're gonna assemble our meal now. What is the proper way to put this all together? Okay, so we wanna first start off with our pasta. Then we add a little bit of sauce to it. Sauce looks delicious. Mm, very much so. Couple florets of broccoli. And then to top it all off, we want a piece of chicken. Cut on a bias. Now, Dustin, does that look like a nice meal? This I'm sorry, like you're not going to get any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting that bowl back, am I? No. <laughs> you can get it back empty, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching in. Until next time, like and subscribe. <laughs> Put it somewhere. <laughs> Behind him. <it>. Okay. <laughs>
You want me to put this somewhere? Give me a fork. <laughs>